You know our next guest from hit television shows like Heroes and Heroes Reborn to Hollywood blockbusters like Star Wars, The Force Awakens, and Star Trek Beyond. But as his story will show you once the cameras stop rolling, life can become all too real. Jake was born May 25th, 1996. Jake's was our first of three beautiful boys right before his seven-year checkup. We noticed we talked to Jake. He would kind of zone out for a second. We didn't know what that was. We happened to bring it up to our pediatrician. And the doctor said, OK, Jake, can you hyperventilate for me? It brought on a staring spell. And the doctor said, I think this is a seizure. And that's when our journey into the world of epilepsy and seizures with Jake really began. His seizures progressed. From a small staring spell to shaking to tonic-clonic seizures. It was horribly hard to have a child who one day there was nothing going on and then the next you see suffering 200 seizures a day. We then went on to his first neurologist and started medication. Nothing really worked. We were told by a couple doctors, you know what, I think he might be a surgery candidate. So it got to the point where we had no choice and we realized that he needed to have the surgery. When they wheel Jake in to surgery, it's the worst moment in my whole life. And having a doctor that you absolutely entrust say, I don't know if this is gonna work. We're gonna remove a part of your son's brain. Your call. And that's what epilepsy is. Luckily, that surgery, it made his medications work. Suddenly he was 80% better. I, 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 I couldn't believe it. I mean, it was just wonderful. Jake is 20 years old now. He's having little if no seizures. Parents out there that are dealing with this, there is hope out there. You're not alone. You're gonna get these seizures under control. And join us now, actor, author, and epilepsy advocate, Greg Grumberg. Greg, thanks for being here and oh, talking thank about you. this important topic. Thank you. How is your son? You. Tell us how your son is doing. So uh, so today, you know, he started having seizures when he was seven. So we've been going 13 years. We, it's a long 13-year epilepsy car wash that we've gone through here. And um, he's, we've had huge ups and downs. He is doing so well. I mean, he's, he's working. He's perfectly normal. That's the thing about epilepsy is... You would not know it. People in this room, someone in this audience has epilepsy, I guarantee it, and they need to at least talk about it so we know what to do. Like and the, the quote of the day, return to being a pain in the ass teenager we all dream about. <laughs> so Greg, I gotta ask you, I'm a mother of a son with autism and he developed seizures, which is really common with kids who have autism to also start developing seizures. And out of my son's autism, I started a nonprofit. So when I sit here and I look at you, I'm like, just my heart, my, my, I, I'm just emotional about it because yeah. how did you go from what we saw, the, the pain and the anguish that your family had over your son's epilepsy to now being this amazing advocate for other families? That's something that I Thank am you. just... But I'll tell you, I, I, I have to about. pat you on the back as well. I mean, you have to do something. But one in 26 people are gonna deal with this. There are three to five million people in the United States that have epilepsy. And my whole thing is living well with epilepsy. I'm a control freak as we all are, especially with our kids, we want the best for them. And when something out of control like seizures, you wanna do something. I'm not a doctor, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna keep them safe, do what I can, teach them right from wrong, but how can I make an impact in this community? And talking about it is what we need to do. Is that the concept behind the Epilepsy Foundation to really increase awareness? Yes, and I started something called talkaboutit.org. If you go to talkaboutit.org, you'll see every celebrity you can imagine. They bring up a question about, like Jennifer Garner says, if I wanna, I wanna get pregnant, but I have epilepsy, can I do that? And then she freezes and we cut to a doctor wow. answering that question that I've interviewed. And then we have this new great campaign going right now, uh, which is hashtag my epilepsy hero. It's important in this community to talk about the people that have helped you in your journey, whether it's the patient themselves who are dealing with these situations on a daily basis, going to work knowing they could have a seizure or doing whatever, um, or the doctors who are, inc they're heroes, they're absolute heroes. They take calls. In the epilepsy community, guys, you, you have this communication with your doctor like nothing else. A seizure happens, you call your doctor, they call you right back. I mean, when does that happen? They don't bill you for that. It's unbelievable. So hashtag my epilepsy hero, one post, 500 posts, and there's a $10,000 dona donation that's gonna go to the Epilepsy Foundation. So wow. it's really important.